This is the common clover, Trithonium repens, often known as white clover. Now here are its root system, and embedded within it are very large numbers of root nodules. These are small swellings that contain bacteria, and they assist the plant, because the plant is unable to fix nitrogen from the air to make nitrates without the assistance of these root nodules and the bacteria within them. So clover is a very valuable plant. It aids the farmer by adding nitrates to the soil and these nitrates are essential in the making of proteins uh, for DNA, for energy carrying substances and for other purposes. There's a lot of research going into trying to associate these root nodules with plants like wheat, because normally when you only find them within legumes, things like beans, for instance. These swellings on the roots of the white clover are root nodules. They contain large numbers of bacteria belonging to the rhizobium group. They're quite remarkable because the plant is accommodating them. They're not harming the plant, in fact they're providing the plant with nitrogen fixed to form ammonia that is then converted into the various nitrogen compounds that the plant needs to grow successfully. There's a slight pink tinge to these. Now there's a chemical which you find in human muscle called myoglobin. This is quite similar. It's called leg hemoglobin. And it's remarkable because you associate normally hemoglobin these chemicals with animals. But this plant here is making it in combination with the bacterium, so the two seem to contribute to making it. And what it does is it removes enough oxygen to allow the plant and the bacteria to produce the nitrogen compounds, whilst allowing sufficient oxygen to remain to allow the bacterium to respire, to produce energy. So a quite remarkable example of cooperation between the bacterium and the plant. This is a close-up of the root nodules on the clover. One of them there is showing the pink colour because it contains a form of haemoglobin. It has that to remove excess oxygen, allowing the bacterium to produce the nitrates that are so essential to the clover. Alder trees using a different sort of bacterium, also can fix nitrogen from the air. Their nodules are much larger, and they are still found on the roots, but alders grow in very wet areas next to streams where nutrients are washed away. So it's important for the plant to be able to obtain nitrates, which are otherwise lost to it. And it does that using the nitrogen-fixing bacteria within its root nodules.